they are more threatened than than marine ecosystems and most of the terrestrial uh, ecosystems but hardly anyone knows about it yeah? and on the other hand they are so diverse they are covering only 1% of the of the water uh, on the planet but they have 10% of the biodiversity you know? and that is what makes them so valuable but we have destroyed especially in Europe the rivers at an extent that is it no i think most hardly anyone in Europe has ever seen a living river we think we we know rivers and we've seen them but what we see is canals or little pieces of that reminds us of a river and stretches but we have mostly dammed diverted and channelized it but we got used to it and now you've been instrumental in creating this uh, Wild River National Park in Albania. Just tell me briefly about this river and what we could achieve, you could achieve, if it's properly protected, if this project works. So the, the, the Viosa in southern Albania is uh, one of the last, probably the, one of the last river systems that are fully intact. So not only the Viosa is free flowing, but the whole network. So including the tributaries that run into it and the tributaries that go into the tributaries. It's like a functioning artery network of your body, something like that. And that is absolutely a gift to Europe. And it, it was for, for us all a surprise that this is still existing, that survived the decades and the centuries of, of river destruction. And now this can become a lighthouse project for whole Europe. It's the first European Wild River National Park. I think it belongs to all of us, but giving also an example that we A, should protect rivers on a very large scale, wherever it's possible, let's protect that is what is still left. And B, where they're already damaged, which is mostly the case, we need a large scale river restoration projects. We need to give the channelized rivers more space. And that the World Water Day is just reminding us of the importance of rivers and importance of water. But especially in this global warming situation, we need to make the rivers more resilient. We need to give them more space. The more alive rivers are, the more benefits we have from it. You know, a living rivers have a huge de deposit of groundwater, you know, while channelized rivers are usually don't. So it's, it's, and it would create a lot of place for recreation for us. You know, I don't want to live at a canal or, or lie there. Once you've seen a living river and swam in it or just looked at it and seen birds passing by or nesting on the gravel islands, man, that is a quality of life that we have long lost. So Wild River is good for um, all sorts of biodiversity, fish, newts, whatever. Also people, as you've described. But yeah. just in today's world, somehow these things have to function financially to be supported also by local people. What's the balance then with this uh, uh, Wild River National Park yeah. to help people benefit, make a living from having it there? Yeah, I think the Wild River National Park is uh, the best combination there is to protect nature and natural processes and make people benefit from it. You know, it's it's the, the ecosystem idea is, is the best in this Wild River National Park approach because there's like all these little lines, all these little tributaries are going into the remotest parts of Albania and the, the people who are living there or used to live there, they see this as a chance to give, you know, earn some money from protecting their nature. It's their rivers also. They have still a relationship to the rivers that we have lost, long lost in the, in the West. So if the concept works as we hope it will work and we're working towards it, then we will have this river protected forever and including the people will benefit from it. And then it would become an even better role model that should be copy-pasted in, in other countries as well.